assalamu alaikum students today we will discuss standard deviation uh, what is standard deviation uh, formula for ungroup and types of formulas uh, in our previous lecture we have discussed mean deviation uh, and for group and ungroup and today we will also discuss coefficient of mean deviation In our last lecture, we have discussed mean deviation, and today we will discuss coefficient of mean deviation. Here is a formula of coefficient of mean deviation: mean deviation divided by average, and average is arithmetic mean or median. So, we will calculate coefficient of mean deviation. In our last lecture, we have calculated mean deviation, and the answer for mean is 6.08. 6.08 divided by 49.6, and the 49.6 is mean. So mean deviation divided with mean, and the answer is 0.12. And for median, the mean deviation is 5.8. And divided with 52, which is median. 5.8 divided by 52, and the answer is 0.115. This is the answer, and standard deviation. Standard deviation is measure. Uh, measurement of um, uh, or measure the variation in data and standard deviation is a positive square root of square deviation taken from arithmetic mean and uh, it is the most important uh, statistical tool uh, used in analysis of medical data here is a formula of standard deviation for group and ungroup uh, there are uh, different formulas for group uh, there are further three formulas uh, shortcut method or uh, direct method and in standard deviation is a formula under root summation modulus x minus mean square root divided by n so let's calculate Standard deviation. This is our example. First step is calculate mean, and the formula of mean is summation x divided by n, uh, and summation x is 42. Total number n is 7, and the answer is 6. So mean is 6. The next step is X minus mean. So next step is x minus mean. So two minus six, six and three minus six, six minus six, eight minus six, and the answer. Then we take a modulus. Negative value is converted into positive. And the next step is square root four. When we take a square root sixteen uh, three nine, and the sum of this is fifty six. The next step is simply fifty six divided by seven. The fifty six divided by seven, and the answer is two point eight two. The answer is 2.82. Uh, shortcut method or indirect method. 
समेशन एक्स स्क्र डिवाइडेड बाय एन माइनस समेशन एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय एन एंड होल स्क्र एंड टू मेथड अदर इज समेशन डी स्क्र डिवाइडेड बाय एन माइनस समेशन डी डिवाइडेड बाय एन एंड होल स्क्र सो लेट्स कैलकुलेट सेम क्वेश्चन विद दिस मेथड इज द फार्मूला सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज समेशन एक्स स्क्र सो सिंपली वी टेक द स्क्र पॉजिटिव स्क्र रूट स्क्र टू फोर थ्री नाइन सिक्स थर्टी सिक्स एंड द सम ऑफ दिस इज थ्री पॉइंट जीरो एट द सम ऑफ दिस इज थ्री पॉइंट जीरो एट and n is 7 the next step is summation x so summation x is 42 so simply summation x square 308 divided by 7 42 divided by 7 and so firstly we solve this part this part we solve 42 divided by 7 and so this is 36 and answer is 36 so the answer of this part is 36 and 3 0 8 Divided by seven, and the answer is forty-four. And the answer of this part is forty-four. So simply forty-four minus thirty-six, and forty-four minus thirty-six. and the answer is 2.82 2.82 so same answer 2.82 2.82 and 2.82 and d is equal to x minus a and a is mostly consider mid value but in this example they given as x minus 7 so a is 7 a is 7 so first step is x minus 7 2 minus 7 3 minus 7 6 minus 7 and the answer is this then next step is d square and the sum of d square is 63 and sum of d is minus 7 so the first step is we calculate this minus 7 divided by 7 total number 7 and the whole square Minus seven divided by seven, and the answer is one. So the answer of this part is one. And the next step is calculate this part. E D square is equal to six three three. And n is seven. Six three three divided by seven, and the answer is nine. The answer is nine, and answer of this part, answer of this part is nine. So, next step is nine minus one. Square root, uh, under root, nine minus one, and the answer is two point eight two.
Let's calculate standard deviation and we calculate the standard deviation of the question number 9. Here is the data. So simply first we write the formula according to the formula we take the x square and the summation of x square is 1089 and the summation of simply x is 139. So first we 139 divided by 20 and the square root 139 divided by 20 and the answer is 48 48.30 the next step is summation x summation x is 1089 divided by 20 10 89 divided by 20 and the answer is 54.45 simply under root 54.45 minus 48.30 54.45 minus 48.30 and the answer is 2.47 2.47 the answer is 2.47 we calculate from this formula then first step is calculate mean and the mean is 6.95 the mean is 6.95 the next step is x minus mean and this is the answer and the, the, the next step is we take the modulus all negative value is converted into positive and uh, square root this is the answer and the sum of this is 122.9 so simply one twenty nine point nine one twenty two point nine divided by twenty and under root 120.9 and the answer is 2.47 and the answer is 2.47 the same answer from both formulas